Hi everyone, I'm very happy to see you again. In this video, we're going to learn how to write an informal letter. How do you spend your time? So this is the question that our writing is going to be about. In this picture, we can see different activities. For example, traveling, playing sports, writing stories, you can see a young girl sitting in her desk thinking about uh, what to write. We have also shopping, listening to music, and eating out in a restaurant. We have also other activities like uh, surfing the internet, looking after children, staying in in the evening, spending time with family, doing the housework, working long hours, studying hard, hanging out with friends, watching TV, reading, mountain climbing, going to the theater, and go cycling. Now let's look at activity one. Match a phrase from box A with an opposite phrase from box B. Here we have from A to H and box B from 1 to 8. So I absolutely love. So what is the opposite of this phrase? So the opposite of this phrase is number 5. I absolutely hate. It means I absolutely love. The opposite is B. I'm really into. So what does it mean? I'm really into means I am very interested in doing something. So what is the opposite for this phrase? Is number seven. I'm not into doing something. Next one. I'm very interested in. So I'm very interested in. What is the opposite? The opposite is number four. I'm not very interested. So we just use the negative form of a verb to be. I am very interested. I am not. I'm not very interested. So uh, the word interested is always followed by in, the preposition in. We can say, for example, I'm interested in playing sports. I'm interested in traveling. I'm interested in reading books and so on and so forth. D, I really enjoy and I استمتيع ميتا نكون كندير شي حاجة استمتيع بالوقت ديالي ميتا نكون كنمارس شي هواية ولا شي شي أنشطة I really enjoy the opposite is number three I don't really like E I have enough time for عندي الوقت الكافي I have enough time for doing something the opposite is number six I don't have enough time for doing something G, I'm quite good at, we can say I'm good at uh, maths, I'm good at playing football, I'm good at uh, playing video games, I'm good at playing music. The opposite is I'm not very good at, I'm not very good at. H, I spend too much time, I spend too much time doing something. The opposite is number eight. I don't spend much time. Activity two. How do you spend your time? What do you like? What do you dislike doing? Use a phrase from the previous exercise to complete the following sentences. So here we have to think about our free time, working life, and family life. From one to nine, the first one. Driving. So what can we say here? I spend a lot of time driving. We can say, I don't like driving. Number two, cooking. I'm not very good at cooking. Others, they say, I am good or we are good at cooking. Other students other people they may say we are very interested in cooking number three 
Meeting new people. I'm very interested in meeting new people. Number four. Gardening. Gardening is gardenage. The I really like gardening. Planting trees, plants, flowers, etc. Number five. I absolutely hate doing housework. When we say the housework, it means cleaning the floor, washing the dishes, taking out the rubbish, and etc. I spend too much time looking after children. Spend too much time. I spend too much time looking after children. Looking after children means to take care of children. So mothers, they spend too much time looking after their children. Next, chatting on the net. I really enjoy chatting on the net, the net or internet. Number eight, watching TV. I don't have enough time for watching TV. Maybe because I spend long hours working. Number nine, relaxing and doing nothing. Relaxing, yeah, still so we have different possibilities i don't really like relaxing and doing nothing some some other people they can say we really like relaxing and doing nothing activity three read the letter and answer the following questions we have three questions when we finish reading the the letter we are going to answer these questions First one, what are the elements of a letter? What are the ingredients of a letter? Who did Salim write the letter to? The last question, how does Salim spend his time? Now, let's read the letter. 17 Apartment 2, Nahil Street, Casablanca, May the 28th. Dear Jamel, sorry I haven't written for such a long time because I was busy preparing for TOEFL test. And you? How are things with you? I hope you are doing well. I'm writing this letter to tell you how I spend my time. Well, I spend a lot of time reading and writing short stories. I really enjoy learning new things. I'm very interested in arts as well. I'm quite good at painting. Every morning, I go jogging for about 30 minutes and go back for a fresh shower. Then I take my breakfast and go to work. Fishing is one of my, of my favorite hobbies. I go fishing every weekend. I know quite a lot about the marine life. I think that's all. Now it's your turn to tell me how you spend your time. Take care of yourself. All the best. Salim. So the different colors in this letter shows the different ingredients or the elements that form this letter. The blue color is the address. The green color is the date. This is the second element. The third element is Dear Jamal. This is greeting. Tahiya. The dark blue color is the introduction. And the element that follows or the paragraph that follows is the body. The body is the most important element in a letter because it includes the message that the writer of this letter wants to convey. The orange color shows the conclusion and the purple color is the closing. When we want to close the letter, we mention these elements. Question, how does Selim spend his time? To answer this question, we have to go back to the letter and read the body of the letter. He spends a lot of time reading and writing short stories. He really enjoys learning new things. He's very interested in art as well. He's very good at painting or quite good at painting. Every morning he goes jogging for about 30 minutes and goes back for a fresh shower. Then he takes his breakfast and goes to work. He goes fishing every weekend. So this is how Salim 
spends his time. Now your task is to write a reply to Selim telling him how you spend your time. You talk about your free time activities, about your working life, about your family life. So here you go back to the letter to use it as a sample, as an example, to write your own informal letter. So thank you very much for your attention and I will wait for your comments, for your answers. Don't forget to subscribe to English Slides to receive more videos. Goodbye.